I think farmers and those on the ground are very pivotal in conservation practices. It's where the rubber hits the road. We don't go out and do things for fun. We need to have a motivation to change and to do things. And where the environmental and conservation movement becomes real is where the actions are being taken. And without that piece, it'd all just be talk. The Fletcher Gulch project is it's a cooperative effort between growers, agencies, and the irrigation district converting from flood irrigation to sprinkler irrigation with a pressurized pipeline system. It's taken 20 years to get here. What we've been doing has been a great accomplishment. A lot of the, the beginning of it was my brother Mike and, and my involvement in water quality issues and water issues in general. Water management was a challenge. And we could just see that there was a need to begin to look at, at ways to be more responsible for our water use and the water quality. We could tell that the flood and furrow irrigation was really the main contributor to that poor water quality. When we're able to implement irrigation system transformations, specifically pipelines with pressurized water and on-farm irrigation systems that reduce sediment and soil loss, we're able to solve most of that water quality issue. The character trait about Mike that made this all happen is the fact that he'd go out and try it. Mike politically was active state and federal. He had visions out there for the future. They actually early on started to convert their own farm. I think the neighbors kind of watched that over time. When we did that, I guess that partnership, it started to build. NRCS has been a great resource for us throughout the years with different projects. We've always worked with them, but the change to the sprinklers was something new a little bit for this area too. This project really was driven by the producers, the farmers here in the local area. The main reason why NRCS chose to focus on this Fletcher Gulch project area was that we were moving into a new era ourselves and our state conservationists tasked us to be more strategic about how we were implementing conservation. So when the time came and NRCS Oregon shifted our business model, this project was right on the top of the shelf. The Waihee Irrigation District is tasked to deliver water to all of the individual farms, and so they had to be involved. It needed to be a priority for them, and it was. This is the largest irrigation district in the state of Oregon. And the resource is not a constant here, but what we have noticed with this conversion to these pipelines is that in those dry years, we've been able to get a longer growing season, and our demands are different. We started out 100% of it for irrigated 17 years ago. Our entire farm is sprinkled as of last spring. Now what we're seeing in the drain systems is either very little water or clean water coming off of the fields or moving into those drain systems. And we have good data to show that from continued water sampling. Now in this last season, we've embarked on the next step, which is now beginning to use strip tilling and no-tilling farming practices. Less trips through the field, less fuel, and a healthier soil. And I think this is going to be the part of the whole thing that pays for us. You know, something that we can't forget is that soil and that water to that grower, that's his livelihood. He's got to protect that and take care of that. We're improving that.